In this Excel video, we are learning how to do custom sort in few very simple steps. Let's get started. If you have been using Excel for quite a while, the chances are that you already know how to sort your data in an ascending or descending order. For that, you simply have to select the data like this, go to data tab, and under sort and filter group, you can choose the option of having the data sorted in an ascending order or a descending order. Now, as the data I have selected is simply text, Excel is going to sort this data in alphabetical order. So having the ascending order clicked, I have the gloves and then pants, pajamas and t-shirts listed. Similarly, if I go with the descending order, once again, Excel is going to use alphabetical approach to sort this text based data. Now having the options to sort your data in ascending or descending manner is going to help us in many ways, but not in every situation. Let's have a look at this similar example where I have the same list of products, but this time with size. I want the size to be listed in ascending form that is starting with the small, then medium, large, and then followed by Excel. In this case, let's see if the built-in ascending and descending options are going to help us the way we wanted it to. So I have the active cell inside the range, press Ctrl A to select the whole range, and then go to sort and filter group and hit filter button. This will enable these drop down arrows. Click the drop down arrow with the size column and I'm going to select sort A to Z. And here you can see I have the large size listed first, then medium, and then followed by small and in the end Excel. And this is definitely not what we wanted. And story is not going to be any different if I select the descending order. I have the Excel first, then small, then followed by medium and large. So you can clearly understand that having ascending and descending options to sort your data are kind of limited. And that's why we need custom sort option for such situations. So let's see how we can do the custom sort to have the sizes listed in the correct order. Select the data once again by having an active cell inside the range, control A on the keyboard. And once that is done, hit the sort button and this will give us the sort dialog box. Now from here, I can select what column should I be using to sort the data as I want the data to be sorted using the size of the products. I will keep the size in this sort by column. I will leave the cell values as well. And under order drop down, I'm going to select custom list. And yes, these are the same custom list that I have already discussed in my last video, where we learned how to make custom autofill lists, or in short, custom lists. So custom sort is yet another benefit of having your own custom autofill lists. In this video, I'm going to briefly discuss how you can make your own custom list, but if you want the detailed explanation and the steps involved to make the custom list, I strongly urge that you watch my last video that I have already tagged in this video above and also in the description of this video. Now moving forward, I'm going to select custom list and this will invoke the custom list dialog box. In here, I can type in my own items to make a custom list like I have for small, medium, large and Excel. So starting with S, that is the smallest size, press enter, M, L and Excel. Once I'm done typing the sizes, I'm going to click add and you can see that Excel instantly added this information as a new custom list. Once that is done, press OK. Press OK once again, and now you have the sizes listed in the correct order. Similarly, I can use the descending order correctly this time once I have the custom list selected to sort this data. Yet another example of understanding how beneficial these custom lists are is with the names of the month. Here I have two lists containing the names of the month. In the first one, I have the months alphabetically sorted in an ascending manner. And in the second list, I have the months listed alphabetically 
in descending form. Now, both of these lists are sorted in an unnatural manner because normally if I talk about having the months sorted in an ascending manner, it should start with January, February and end at December. Similarly, if I want the list with the names of the month to be sorted in descending manner, it will start with December and end at January. So let's see how we can use custom sort option to have the months sorted in the correct order. I will copy one of the lists here. Once that is done, I will select the data along with the header, right click, go to sort, custom sort, and from here under order dropdown, I'm going to select custom list. Remember, Excel already have the list of names of the month built in, and I can use the same to sort this list for us. Press OK. OK once again. And now you have the names of the month sorted in an ascending form in a natural order. Now taking this situation even further and applying a real world scenario, it is not always the case that every entity has financial year starting from January. Most of the time it is starting with April and ending at March or starting with July and ending on June. So we can use our own custom lists to sort the months as per our requirement. Say one of the entity has financial year starting with April and ending on March. So in order to sort the names of the month as per fiscal year, I will need to make my own custom list. So let's have this list selected and pasted here once again. Once that is done, have the data selected along with the header and then go to sort, custom sort and under order drop down, I'm going to select custom list once again. And here I'm going to type in my own fiscal year months, starting with April and pressing enter every time I make an entry, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Once I'm done, press add, and now you can see that the names of the month as per my fiscal year is already listed under custom lists. Press OK, press OK once again, and now you have the months sorted as per the fiscal year custom list that I have just created. So there you have it. We have learned how to do custom sort using the custom list option in Excel that is very easy to do. And it can save us tons of time in automating the data entry process and also sorting the data the way we want it. I hope you like this video and if this is the case, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and push the bell icon to stay in the loop for future videos. Until next time, I'm your host Hassan Fazal and happy excelling.